Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Town Council meeting for December 3rd, 2019. Please rise. Council Lucieri, please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, please call the roll. Council Ringman. Oops. Council Callum. Present. Council Christopher. Here. Council Boncori. Here. Council Perino. Here. Council DeMarco. Here. Council Laconte. Present. Vice President Latieri. Here. President Becchio. Present. Thank you. Uh, I entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the November 19th, 2019. Motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. General information and recommendations, none. Public hearing, we have six of them this evening. The first one uh, I will open at this point in time. The town maintains a uniform tax rate for all classes of property for fiscal 2020 and authorized town manager Faison to sign and electronically submit the LA-5 to the Department of Revenue. Uh, this evening we have Deputy Assessor Steve Roach here to give us a, a background. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Mr. President and members of the Council. Uh, as you know, uh, as you stated, the purpose is, of this hearing is to establish a tax levy percentage and minimum residential factor uh, to review how the proposed tax rate was developed. This is uh, an interim year. We're now on the five-year uh, Municipal Modernization Act. That's the schedule for our reval, so this is another interim year with adjustments to values based upon 2018 sales. Uh, the interim year adjustment form has been reviewed and approved by the Department of Revenue. Based upon the sales from 2018, the average single family value is $498,025. This represents a 6.8% increase in value. That's the single families. The average single family tax bill would be $6,285, which represents a 2% increase or $140 across the board on average. The proposed tax rate of $12.62, and this is pending DOR approval, is a 56 cent decrease from last year's rate of $13.18 per thousand dollars of value. New growth con continues to be strong with new growth assessed value of $17,600,000 and new growth tax dollars to the town of $232,000. Growth continues to be mostly condo conversions with some new construction and combined smaller projects. The building permit applications to date have been steady and projected to be, uh, to be healthy this year again. The memo, uh, a memo has been circulated by the to the council by the Board of Assessors recommending that the uniform tax rate be retained for FY20. Thank you. Any questions from the council? Any question from the public? Hearing none, I'll close out that public hearing. Um, do you want to take a vote on that now? We can do it now. All right, I will entertain a... Uh, a motion to accept. Motion. Motion. Second. Second motion to accept. Okay, any discussion on the motion? Here we none. Do we need a roll call on this? We should take it. Just yes. Okay. Uh, Councilor Ringman. Councilor Calla? Yes. Councilor Christopher? Yes. Councilor Boncori? Yes. Councilor Frino? Yes. Councilor DeMarco? Yes. Council Conti? Yes. Vice President Letieri? Yes. President Vecchio? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Council. Thank you. Second uh, public hearing, the Town Council to vote to transfer $1,174,614.18 from free cash to the Capital Stabilization Fund. Anyone wish to be heard? Council President. Council Letieri. The Finance Committee met this evening. Um, <clears throat> we had multiple items on the agenda. This was one of them. This is a financial policy that the Council uh, enacted about eight or nine years ago. Um, this amount signifies 40% of um, free cash. It also signifies a little bit over that because the building stabilization 
policy that we have is capped at, it's either 10% or capped at 300,000. Um, any overage of that would go to um, capital stabilization, so it's basically 42 odd percent. So it's uh, it's a financial policy that the that the um, council enacts, and after this, the general stabilization balance should be, uh, with all pending motions, about 2.38 million dollars. Okay. Any questions or comments from the council? Any questions or comments from the general public? Hearing none, I'll close out that public hearing. Third public hearing, town council to vote to transfer $756,942.60 from free cash to the general stabilization front. Council Terry. Again, Finance Committee met this evening. This is another financial policy from the council from the same date as the other financial policy. Uh, and this stipulates that the town council will put 30% of all certified free cash into the um, general stabilization fund. Pending this motion, the, uh, the fund should have a balance of roughly $2.39 million. Any questions by the council? Comments from the general public? Hearing none, we'll close out that public hearing. Town council to vote to transfer 145000 from the general stabilization fund to the fire department fund FY19 <laughs> collective bargaining. Council Letary. Finance Committee met this evening on this. This was a, this is cleaning up um, some items from fiscal 19. And there was, after um, the books were closed out, there was a shortage of $145,000 in that line item, um, as there were in several smaller amounts and other various funds. Um, so we did vote unanimously to transfer the $145,000 from general stabilization to the fire department. Uh, to fund that fiscal year 19 collective bargaining. Um, and the balance, as I said before, reflect this amount being authorized. Questions from the council? Comments from the council? Questions or comments from the general public? Hearing none, close out that. Town council to vote to transfer $86,956.82 from free cash to the building stabilization fund. Council Terry. Again, coming out of finance this evening, this is another <coughs> policy that the council had initiated several years back, and this is roughly, uh, this is, this could be up to 10% of free cash, um, but we did, we have in the past capped the building stabilization fund to 300,000. So this 86,000, if approved, will um, bring us to that $300,000 threshold. Okay. Comments or uh, questions from the and council? We have unanimous recommendation. Unanimous. Hearing none, general public. Hearing none, close out that. Town Council to vote to transfer 35000 from the Town Council Reserve to the General Fund, Article FY14, <laughs> Derelict Properties. Council of Terry. This is a special article that was established about five years ago. Um, and this is for our council to maintain. Um, there have been several properties over the years that have been put back on the tax rolls because of this um, fund that we that we established. It is right now an unfunded uh, fund that we are looking to change in fiscal year 20 and have new policies in effect so we won't have to do these transfers mid-year. Um, but this was voted, in, uh, not voted, but this was recommended to the council with positive recommendation. Questions or comments from the council? Hearing none from the general public. Here we then we'll close out the public hearing. Public comment. Hearing none. Correspondence, none. Committee reports. Vice President Materi. Okay. So the Finance Committee, as we've said several times in the last ten minutes, met earlier this evening. Present were committee members. Um, Councillor Christopher, Councillor Farino, and myself. Also, Town Manager Faison, CFO uh, Friedman, and um, Councillor-elect Steve Ruggiero was also here present. Uh, we had several items on the agenda. Um, the meeting lasted about 55 minutes. We had nine items, to be precise, on the agenda. Um, 
eight of them, which we will go over, passed with unanimous approval, and one of them is coming out of committee without recommendation, uh, which we will discuss in old business. Uh, Miller Field met last evening. If I can move on, Council President. Sure. Miller Field met last evening at the high school. Um, again, the vocational students are doing a, a, a great job. Um, it, is, it is going on as, as best we can. The few remaining items we have, uh, the floors in the bathroom have to be finished which they're concrete floors, which are just being polished out. And then the uh, partitions for the bathrooms and the stalls will be put in. They are on site and waiting to be put in. Um, the only items we're waiting for are windows for the concession stand and just making sure that everything's proper, handicap accessible and meets all the requirements. Um, we have some fencing to put in and um, <coughs> Other than that, we are on track. We have tentatively have an April 2nd grand opening date, which would coincide with the beginning of the spring sports season for the high school. Um, so that is tentative right now, but we feel that that is a pretty positive date. Um, other than that, that is all we have from Miller Field. Thank you. Town Manager's report. Sure. So um, I'm going to try to keep it brief this time. Um, I will be taking um, the department heads from the town to an offsite um, on uh, December 17th concerning um, some in house training that I believe is necessary to continue to uh, foster a level of professionalism and compliance uh, with uh, modern employment laws. Um, and we're also going to go through um, a pretty extensive goal setting exercise um, that we were introduced to by Natasha Perez, who has trained a fair amount of state and municipal level leaders um, around this area. Um, this is the same type of goal setting exercise that I look to do with you all on the council um, uh, in January so it will help inform uh, the budget process as well um, so that is something that is exciting and I look forward to um, the last time we were all together was the vote concerning uh, the center business district map um, and although there have been some communications about trying to be expedient in the process of zoning uh, the middle school site, uh, we are working with outside legal, the same outside legal counsel um, to make sure that we are moving forward in the most prudent and legal manner possible. Um, we don't want to do something quickly um, and have it contested in court. Um, so we are working diligently at that um, and we will potentially have some options um, in the near future. Um, and then lastly, um, I brought up during the finance committee meeting, um, concerning our negotiations, um, we are employing a new outside labor counsel. Um, Liz Valerio is here. Um, she represents the firm VDH, and I'm not gonna even try to say the names. Um, but um, Liz, uh, comes to my professional organization to talk to us and train us on um, negotiating. Um, she has discussed with me multiple times about the joint labor management, JLMC, yeah, JLMC um, and all these different sorts of things. But Liz is one of the preeminent attorneys um, in this field within the area. So I wanted to bring Liz here to introduce herself. Um, and then also this may, um, I'm trying to stress that this is very important to me going forward, um, and nothing will be getting by my office or the finance department either. Um, we are employing counsel, um, in my mind, to rectify some of my mistakes of the past, but set a more professional path forward. Um, and the CFO will also be more intimately involved in terms of the financial impacts of some of these things as well. So Liz, if you would like to, um, do you, does anyone have any questions for Liz or anything like that? Anyone have a question? Welcome to the party. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Liz will work very hard to keep us out of jail, let So that's that's my biggest goal. Well, if you get into the jail, see, we also have experience if you get there. Well. We have a firm. This is what we do. Um, we live for lots of municipalities across the state, um, cities and towns. We also represent school districts. 
Um, they were explained at law. We help with grievances. We try to keep you out of arbitrations and litigation if we can. Um, we try to work out resolutions, and we like to make sure that you know what everything costs before you say yes to it. Um, we work as a team so that, and I know that I had a conversation with your chief the other day. Um, if there's issues, and one of us is here, for example, if there's an issue, there's someone at my office right now who will answer a question or pick up the, their cell phone. So there's a whole team approach to make sure that you always have somebody available for you. So this um, has been very clear to me since before I came here, um, the need for increased compliance and reduction of liability. Um, and this is um, a move in that direction in my mind. So I will continue to seek out uh, how to reduce our risk that we have out there. Um, our insurer has made it very clear that the town needs to continue to train the individuals who work for the town, um, as well as um, set up some legal parameters and get good legal advice when we do um, kind of encounter some issues along the way. What is the name of your firm? Valerio, Dominello, and Hillman. I'm the Valerio. Valerio? Dominello, Dominello and Hillman. And Hillman. Where are you located? We are located on the Westward Dedham Line on University Avenue, which is a very short drive from here, actually. Great. And you're going to be our full legal counsel? We're getting rid of Kep Page? Nope, just for oh, labor. No, we do labor. Just for labor. for labor. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, Welcome just, aboard. Just, uh, counsel, just the I'm not sorry. about the labor counsel, um, but I know. Uh, I know that the direction that the council is going with the late with the um, zoning in the center business district, um, but I think it's going to be difficult. Uh, or I think that the two areas, the middle school site and the CVD, as it's zoned right now, uh, need to interact with one another. And I know also know that there's a lot of people in the community who uh, propose changes and the petitions that have come forward. Um, and I think that as a town, we need to look at that holistically, uh, you know, and look into how those two sites are going to interact with one another, the zoning at the CBD and the uh, middle school as well. Um, and I hope that we can, and I don't know if the planning board has met on this yet, but I'd hope that we also take those people's um, issues with the CBD zoning into account. Um, and if there are uh, any resources that we could provide to the uh, planning board in coming to an end where those two things, um, you know, complement each other, I, I'd hope that we would be going in that direction um, because I, I know we are going to be making some decisions about, um, about those petitions that had come forward. And I, I don't want to just throw them, throw them away and say, you know, uh, the CBD's done and that's over. I think that that's something that we do need to look at and um, I hope that the planning board can be cognizant of that um, as they look to make those changes. Absolutely, um, and that's, that's something I neglected to mention. So um, in my present, the FUF forum, I talked about WIN 2030. Um, MAPZ just presented us with potential costs um, and a timeline. Um, Wendy Millar, um, as stated in that meeting, has experience with this and all of the work that she did with Last Stop Revere. Um, so she will be involved with this as well. Um, that will be part of this the visioning process is to bring as many people in as possible to talk about some of the metrics, but that should then set the table for a master planning process. And in a master planning process, you don't leave neighborhoods out of it. Even if you've set the zoning recently, um, even the um, by that point, the resilient zoning language should most likely be um, in our hands. But we should even be looking at that as part of a master planning process, as a master planning process, because we need to holistically look at the entire town and not just neighborhood by neighborhood. Um, and I, that's something that's kind of hit me is that the center of business district has gotten has dominated attention since I've been here, um, and there are other business districts in town, and there are other places where people congregate, and I want to make sure that as many people as possible feel involved. So um, that will be part of this entire process. But thank you for bringing that up. Anything else? Uh, nope, all set. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, under old business, we have a, a lot of housekeeping uh, articles, all finance. So at this point in time, I'll turn that over to <coughs> Vice President Lutieri. Thank Chairman you, Council President. Finance. Thank you. Um, first motion I'd like to make is that the Town Council vote to transfer $1,174,614.18 from free cash 
to capital stabilization fund in accordance with town council policy or take any other action relative thereto. This did come out of finance with positive recommendation. Any and discussion on the motion? Did it come out, it came out with a unanimous vote? It, it did. Okay. And it would require a roll call vote. Okay. No further Council discussion? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Council no. Raymond? Council Callum? Yes. Council Christopher? Yes. Council Boncori? Yes. Council Perino? Yes. Council DeMarco? Yes. Council Conti? Yes. Vice President Letieri? Yes. President Becky? Yes. Council President, I move that the Town Council vote to transfer $756,942.60 from free cash to General Stabilization Fund in accordance with the Town Council policy or take any other action relative thereto. This did come out of finance with positive recommendation. Uh, this is part of the Council financial policy which provides 30% of free cash of available f of uh, certified free cash go to the General Stabilization Fund. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Councilor Ringman? Councilor Gallo? Yes. Councilor Christopher? Yes. Councilor Boncori? Yes. Councilor Perino? Yes. Councilor DeMarco? Yes. Councilor Conti? Yes. Vice President Letieri? Yes. President Vecchia? Yes. Council President, I move that the Town Council vote to transfer $145,000 from General Stabilization Fund to Fire Department budget to cover costs associated with fiscal 19 collective bargaining agreement or take any other action relative thereto. This did come out of finance with positive recommendation. Um, roll call vote. Council Ringman. Council Callum? Yes. Council Christopher? Yes. Council Boncori? Yes. Council Perino? Yes. Council DeMarco? Yes. Council Laconte? Yes. Vice President Letieri? Yes. President Becchia? Yes. Motion passes. Council President, I move that the Town Council vote to transfer $86,956.82 from free cash to building stabilization in accordance with the Town Council policy or take any other action relative thereto. This is, as stated before, another Council policy where up to 10% of available of certified free cash goes into building stabilization. This um, account is capped at $300,000 and is at $300,000 now. It came out with positive recommendation. Ask for a roll call vote. Council Ringman? Council Callum? Yes. Council Christopher? Yes. Council Boncori? Yes. Council Frino? Yes. Council DeMarco? Yes. Council Conti? Yes. Vice President Letieri? Yes. President Vecchia? Yes. Motion passed. Council President, I move that the Town Council vote to transfer $35,000 from Town Council Reserve to replenish the general fund article fiscal year 14 derelict properties for maintenance of derelict properties or take any other action relative thereto. Council President, this did also come out of finance with a positive recommendation. Roll call vote. Council Ringman? Council Callum? Yes. Council Christopher? Yes. Council Boncori? Yes. Council Frino? Yes. Council DeMarco? Yes. Council Laconte? Yes. Vice President Letieri? Yes. President Vecchia? Yes. Council President, I move that the Town Council vote to transfer $30,000 from Building Maintenance Stabilization Fund to General Fund Special Article Number 01960588-5881XX Fiscal Year 20 ATC Water Heater Replacement or take any other action relative thereto. Uh, this did come out of financial positive recommendation, but if there's any confusion out there, we did vote this at the at our last meeting as an emergency motion, but we did not have the six votes necessary uh, because of the uh, attendance. So uh, we just want to make sure we're crossing our eyes and crossing our T's and dotting our eyes and doing it properly. So I would ask for a roll call vote. Mm -hmm. Council Ringman. Council Callum? Yes. Council Christopher? Yes. Council Boncori? Yes. Council Frino? Yes. Council DeMarco? Yes. Council Laconte? Yes. Vice President Leteri? Yes. President Vecchia? Yes. Two-thirds of a vote passes. Council President, I move that the Town Council vote to transfer $20,000 from Town Council Reserve to replenish the general fund article pest control as estimated for the remainder of fiscal year <coughs> 20 or take any other action relative there too. This did come out of finance with a positive recommendation. This is a um, another unfunded item that we have, but obviously feel it's very important for the town that we maintain um, everything in good standing. So it did come out with positive recommendation. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Council President, I move that the Town Council vote to transfer 
from Town Council Reserve number 0111057-578100 to Town Manager General Office Supplies number 0112545422300 for the purpose of funding employee recognition program and presentation for fiscal year 2020 or take any other action relative there too. Council President, this um, was discussed in committee. Um, this is a policy that I, I, I guess I don't want to call it a policy. This has been in effect for about four years. It was started by a previous town manager. Um, it, it, it constitutes a, a holiday party and recognition program for town employees. Um, there was much discussion on this relative to um, cost and if it was the right time to do something like this and spend the town's money when there are other departments that um, fund their own holiday parties and such. So it, it did come, we did want it to come to the council for, to be vetted by the council and discussed, uh, but we came out of finance with no recommendation. Okay. I'll second the motion since there's no recommendation. Okay. From the, council. the motion's been seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Discussion? No discussion? We'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. That's President, I move that the Town Council vote to authorize unpaid bills of a prior year to be paid from current departmental budgets as noted below or take any other action relative there too. There are six items. Um, they are items from inspectional services for water testing of $425, inspectional services department for extermination, uh, page exterminating for $1,900, Veteran Services for Office Supplies of $35.38, Town Manager for Public Relations, uh, $249, and Town Manager for Mapping Packages for Planning Board of $786.50, and one from the um, COA, uh, Council on Aging, for National Grid for $735.85. Um, this total amount is four thousand one hundred thirty one dollars and seventy three cents these are not transfers these are covered in their current um, operating budgets for each department so they're not requesting a transfer we're just we're just requesting that we clean up unpaid bills um, it, it did come out of finance with positive recommendation any questions? any discussion on the motion Hearing none, we'll take it to a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank under, you. Thank you, Councilman Terry. Uh, under new business, we've already uh, voted on the tax classification. Uh, item number 17, amend the town ordinance 10-12.90. Right turns prohibited on certain intersections. A motion to refer to rules and ordinances. Second. Uh, second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, town Council vote to use the retained earnings. Harbor Master Water weighs 89380 to purchase seven. Is that seven? Equipment. I think it's supposed to be purchase slash equip. Okay. Equipment and replacement Boston Whaler. Mo uh, motion to refer to finance. Motion. So moved. Second. All, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, the ayes have it. Town Council vote to transfer 49000 from salary reserve to department budgets. Seven enterprise funds as needed. Fiscal FY20, costs associated with the 2% cost of living adjustment, COLA for non-union employees, other relevant FY20 salary adjustment. Motion refer to finance. Motion. So, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, there's none. Town Council vote to transfer 43900 from salary reserve to the fire department for the purposes of funding the annualized FY20 costs of the FY19 negotiated union contract. Motion to refer to finance. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, the ayes have it. Town Council transfer 40000 from free cash to DPW repair maintenance of infra infrastructure account. Uh, motion to refer to finance. Motion. Second. Uh, second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Town Council 
to vote to transfer 35000 from salary reserve to DPW to fund the FY20 cost of the FY19 negotiated union contract. Uh, motion to refer to fi finance. Motion. Uh, second. 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 All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. The ayes have it. Town Council vote to transfer 16900 from salary reserve budget, uh, department budgets, in enterprise funds, FY20 cost associated with FY19 clerical <laughs> union agreement. Motion. Motion to refer. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. The ayes have it. Town Council vote to transfer $10,000 from the Town Council Reserve to the Town Manager Training Services. Motion to refer to finance. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All aye. opposed. The ayes have it. Thanks Public comment. Yes, sir. Can I, just, can I just go back for one second? I forgot. I was getting ready for finance. And anything, I know a couple meetings ago we discussed the Airport Hazards Committee that we were going to keep on that and maintain a good relationship. Have we gone anywhere with that yet? Uh, so uh, Mr. Falvo uh, wrote me a letter um, concerning um, some of the input that came from that night. Um, and I have been in contact with uh, Mike Vallaro at the airport and um, trying to get a good introductory meeting with um, the new president of Massport. Um, so I am working on that. That said, we just received communications as of, this was the day before Thanksgiving, and I sent it to um, this morning to um, Council President Vecchia and Council President-elect Moncori concerning um, some legal interpretations of some of the things that were said at that meeting. Um, Massport and the FAA um, and local level people are very aware of um, what was referred to as a PFC charge, and if we could utilize that in terms of soundproofing. Um, there are some legal opinions on that, as well as um, who then could potentially be eligible on it. So I am just trying to figure out the best, most effective way to communicate that information with all of you, um, and then we can disseminate some of it to the public. Um, and th the only issue that comes in is that it kind of cuts both ways. Um, it seems like much of Massport is very much, and the FAA is under the impression that whoever has had soundproofing done to their property previously is ineligible for any future money. That's, that's said multiple times in it, um, specifically from uh, November 14th. Um, there's some responses. So I'm trying, I'm, it's a bunch of documents. I'm trying to figure out the best way to summarize it for all of you. Um, but it is the, you could use this PFC for soundproofing related things potentially but they think that everyone that could get soundproofing has gotten soundproofing in Winthrop. So we're dealing with the same kind of place that we were before, unfortunately. So um, I know the lawyer who did some of the work on behalf of um, Massport on it, so I want to reach out to her to get some un better understanding of it because it's pretty complicated what they said. Um, so there is a potential funding source. I don't know if they're going to be willing to use it for that. Um, I, I so would I just can, ask them if, I mean, I'm sure technology has changed over the last 25 years since they started, or 30 years since they started the soundproofing, and I, I really think, I hope that we can work our way around that. That, and yes, and that is my initial viewpoint on it, is that just like the cars we drive or the phones we use or anything like that has changed dramatically in 25, 30 years, um, this technology has changed as well. Um, so it we're trying to f I'll summarize it and then we can choose as a group what our next plan of action can be because I think it is effective to have the council and my office communicating um, with these larger entities and not just my office on the I think the key to it is, is the FAA they're really the key they're the ones that say you can't you can't resound proof yep even if it's 35 years old if if, they was, it out. if, if they if they start from scratch they send a team out there and they actually monitor the house, yep. you know, for several weeks to see if it qualifies. And they talk, it, honestly, they, that, this letter and I'll, um, first pass, I'll probably pass everything on to you all. I'll try to summarize it a little bit better so you don't have to go through hundreds of pages of things. Um, the points that were made in this room are the same points in this documentation about the, um, 
the levels over the year um, with all of the readings and how it's divided by 365, so it doesn't really matter if it's day or night type of thing, um, what the acceptable levels are, what uninhabitable level areas are. It's a lot of the stuff that they said here, the 65 versus the 70, those types of things. It's, it's all in this information as well. So they are speaking the same language that our airports hazards committee has been working on. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll give it to you, and then we can figure out as a group. Uh, the direction you all would like to pursue. And just sure. one more thing, I just want to thank uh, Steve Cowan, DPW. I mean, that was not a freak storm, but you usually don't get six inches of snow in the beginning of December. So it hit our here yeah. a lot harder than anyone expected it to. Yeah. Um, and they were working last night a lot, and they were working way later today than anyone expected. We we had intended for them to have things relatively cleaned up by 10 and the storm moving offshore at 12 so they would just clean up behind it um it didn't stop snowing here until three so um steve cal is not here because he needs to sleep at some point during his life so um they, they did a good job and we always commend dpw in these types of things because they help us get out of our houses and be able to move around our communities okay thank you would you anticipate getting that mass put information to everybody um i will get it to you all before the next meeting okay do you want it sooner than that? Oh, we'll talk about it. Okay, not a problem. Anyone else? Public comment. Yes. Hi. I have a question about the middle school. Can you uh, state your name, please? Marissa Cabone Johnson Ave, North Park, obviously. Um, so I understand that Wendy Malath was putting together a meeting last month. A couple of us had missed it, and it was about mixed use in that building. Is that true? Mm -hmm. So that building obviously is now not occupied. There's no children in that school. They're in a new middle school, high school for a reason. Um, out of that reason was reports from the DPH will go back, what, four years or so, back in 2015. My question is, if that building is still owned by the town, or if it's going to be leased out to someone else, are they going to be known facts of the situation? having poor air quality, having a little bit of building, or are they going to be in the dark about it? When you sell something, at least something, full disclosure should be to the person. We, we would absolutely disclose any of that information um, if we were to put it out to bid um, for a developer to take it over. Um, no, we're not, yeah, we wouldn't hide that information at all. Um, we, yeah, we're not going to sell an unhealthy building to someone and not let them know that it's unhealthy. No, Anyone else wish to be heard? Hearing none, uh, any public relations from councilors? Any questions, comments? No. Uh, on December 22nd, if you recall, the council approved uh, a recommendation to name the little street across at uh, Metcalf Square uh, after Harry uh, from Brown's Pharmacy. And um, the sign is up, and it's Harry's Way. And we're going to uh, actually dedicate it on December 22nd. Uh, the family was hoping to wait until the 22nd, even though it might be a little chilly, because uh, their son is coming in from, I believe, Denver or somewhere on the West Coast. So December 22nd at 11 o'clock, right at Metcalf Square, we, we're going to be um, dedicating Harry's Way to a great guy. Excellent. Okay? Uh, I'm going to take a motion. Uh, we need a rules and ordinance committee meeting. Can we do it on the 17th? A finance committee meeting will be at 6? Finance committee meeting will be at 6.30, I think. We could have that. So can we have a rules and ordinance meeting scheduled for 6 that night yep. prior to? Mm -hmm. I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. So Second. Move. So move all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen.